Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink and today's topic is the killer tone. <laughs> um, what's the killer tone? I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, and so on. Um, it's uh, actually not about uh, this track here, but this is an example. You find um, a full version of this um, on the link below. But it's about how to create the killer tone. Um, it's not my expression. Um, many fans already have contacted me over the years uh, about my killer tone. <laughs> and um, so let's talk about the killer tone. Um, to tell you the truth, um, there are a lot of components which are part of it and it's only 50% is the equipment and the other 50% is playing techniques. So, um, let's first go through the um, equipment thing. Um, first of all, you already hear it. I have a high gain distortion here. See? And uh, to get this really um, aggressive biting sound, I prefer any kind of, uh, of California amps or uh, Soldano. This, in this case, it's a Sol Soldano amp. And of course, of maximum distortion. As an example, this is more a brown sound. Which is cool for uh, other things, but we want to have the killer tone now, so we take the Soldano. <laughs> First part, gain on maximum, then I have compression. Of course we need some compression. That's why there's a no some noise on the side, we have some compression here. First compression, then the Soldano or California type amp. If you have any kind of um, cabinet settings on your uh, device, uh, choose a 4x12 uh, um, cabinet. Uh, because that gives it more uh, punch and power. Then comes the next, um, some uh, reverb on it. But the reverb is not so important than the delay. Now you hear it. So many feedbacks. The, the tempo of the delay has to be set on the tempo of the song. See, now I have a faster speed. I set it now on the speed of this song. Good, so now it's set on the speed of the song. Yeah, this is my um, <laughs> pedal board is here on the floor. Good, so um, in this case, as you can hear, I have chosen a uh, ping pong delay. Ping pong delay means it's going from left to right in the speed of the song. In, um, if you have any kind of stereo setting, take ping pong delay. Otherwise, if you don't have mono setting, just take a normal delay. But set on the speed of the song with seven feedbacks. Like, see? So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, six feedbacks, six or seven as you like, and then you have the, the settings which are needed to create the killer tone. <laughs> now we come to the, the other part, this was the equipment part. That makes maybe 40% 40, 40 of the sound, I mean if, if your um, distortion is crappy, um, it gets hard to get a real killer tone. Now we have the next part of it, um, and now <coughs> what is really important um, that you have control, since you have so, so a lot of delay on the sound, as you can hear, you need to control the, the timing 
what you're playing. You have to be precise in time because all you're playing, it's repeated six or seven times. So if you're not playing on timing, you create a total confusion. <laughs> See how many feedbacks we get. But it's, if it's on time... <laughs> That means if you're not really good in timing, take the timing you're really secure in. If you play like play precise quarter notes like duck, duck, that's already cool. There's a lot of delay on the bass as well. <laughs> delay is an important thing to create any kind of killer sound. Good. Um, by, by the way, this track is in C minor, if you want to repeat it. We're going to go to the playing details after that, or like what kind of stuff you can play on the close you. Um, so, play on timing. If you're playing 60 note, they have to be very precise, like that, that, that 60 note of 4 per beat. So, 1, 2, Taka 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 taka. See? And now he repeats all those sixty notes very precisely. Good. So this is the timing part of it. Now on the expression, um, to make it more dramatic, you should think about not only the beginning of the notes but also of the on the endings of the notes that means when you play a note what you heard now I started added some vibrator and I accelerated it till the end of the note and it stopped in this case uh, I'm gonna play with the back me afterwards it has to stop precisely that the repeating, the whole repeating tail of the delay is on time. If you don't stop on time, the whole delay tail is not on time, and this creates again the confusion. So. <laughs> That's how it works. Accelerate your vibrator till the end of the note and then stop exactly. And to give the more effect on that, you can what add something. Like I pull a little bit away to give it an extra effect on it. Or you can stop it with your attacking hand. Now, if you own a wawa and if you're a guitar player, you should own a wawa. You can make it even more dramatic. What I did now, I accelerated the, the vibrator and gave an extra motion to the tone with the, with the wah. So. And now we have it. That's part of the killer tone. <laughs> Yeah, so these are really important parts how you create the long notes. Now let's get more on playing technique details. All right, now we were talking about the vibrator, now we talk about the bendings with vibrator. So, <laughs> what you can hear, there's some noise on the tone. In this case, if you play it without any backing track, you think, oh my goodness, I make so much noise. That's not good. But the noise is like in the kitchen. The, the rat shit on the pizza makes it really tasty. <laughs> not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Sometimes it's not good to have it totally clean. Sometimes it needs a little bit of dirt on it. Because we're in the sun. <laughs> the 
Did you hear it? Um, you heard some kind of a undefined noise on it, and this gave more drama to it. Uh, but I once really uh, I tried it myself with software. I cut up all of the noises you create and wanna see, wanted to see how it sounds and doesn't sound good at all if you, you, you don't make these kind of noises. Now, if you want to have a one single note, um, kind of more dramatic, like on a bending, you, you announce it once with bending, second time maybe with bending, and third time with bending and vibrators. <laughs> And this gives the one note more drama. If you want to do it with wah wah, see. comes the next thing put highlights in your runs so I play this little sequence so there's a little sequence run here in C minor very easy one but this way it sounds boring now we highlight the um, highlight the notes Highlight it with vibrato and in the vibrato accelerate it and to highlight even more you each time you add a kick with the wah wah and now a simple phrase gets totally dramatic. Yeah. Um, if you go on high notes, um, the high notes are really great. I want to switch off the, the wall a little bit. Oh, it's not possible. Okay, now I switch off. Okay, if you go on the high notes. We can play the same sequence on one string on the high E string. In this case, if you attack the string pretty hard, nearly on, on the edge to a pinch harmonic. Oops. See? HB Crazy made a mistake. Gave me $1,000. And this gives the extra drama. If you add it with wah, again, add this extra kick on those notes. <laughs> and oh wait, I play once again. It was too short. I did now, I added some extra dirt on the pizza. <laughs> if you hear it like this, really terrible, but in the music, that's what we want. Yeah. Good, now we have it more or less with the killer tone. Um, if you play in the low positions, of course we play palm muted runs and then any kind of run with a pinch harmonic. 
you can add some water to it. And always give motion on ending notes. That's the main trick. Yeah, that's basically the, the the trick behind the killer tone. Sounds easy, looks easy, but it's not easy because it takes a lot of experience that you choose the right solution at the right moment uh, to have a, a whole thing going on. I mean, play a little phrase with, with these techniques I showed. It's not so hard, but to know when to play what makes the big difference. Um, and that really takes a lot of let's say experience not a, not a practice but experience but then you're ready to go and then you have a killer tone you need to have a proper equipment of course not the lousiest one <laughs> like i don't say uh, any company name now <laughs> or shall i say something like oh my god oh my god <laughs> no but um anyhow um that's um and then the rest is really playing technique um, what you also, I forgot one thing, what you also can do is uh, on any kind of repeating patterns, you can give more motion to them with the wah. Yeah, and of course, pinch harmonics are always great. And that's more or less the secret of the killer tone. And then uh, you just can let it go. I mean, you don't, to get a killer tone doesn't mean you need to play fast. But it means you need to have total control over your tone. And then you can play slow stuff and you have a great expression. <laughs> like that um, that's more or less the the main secrets behind the killer tone I mean there are of course a lot of more tricks behind it but um, I mean like uh, advanced playing techniques like uh, like I did now but that's not the secret of the killer tone it's not the speed I can tell you this by the way if you cannot play a flu <laughs> a flu note a few notes uh, with a killer tone, you can never play fast runs with a killer vibe. <laughs> the killer vibe is something else, but um, it's pretty similar from the technique, uh, but then of course you play fast stuff. I, I really hope I could help you a little bit to get more fun and more drama. Some people say I'm a drama queen, and I am, ind indeed I am, in private life. I'm pretty much a drama queen. 
I know nobody believes me that, but that's of course this the the personal um, uh, let's say um, requirements you need to have if you uh, wanna play the killer tonio. You need to have kind of a dramatic side in you as as a person. <laughs> And then you're really on the path to get a real kill sound and real drama on the guitar. And that's cool. <laughs> Be drama queens, not drag queens. I'm not a drag queen. Uh, some people think I am. I'm not. <laughs> I, I really adore women. <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Drama queen is good. For this kind of playing, the drama queen is great. Yeah, me and Dr. Pink. <laughs> We're signing off. Yeah.